They should absolutely yank those planes immediately. As companies around the world cut ties with Russia, a Utah bank is listed as owning jets belonging to two Russian billionaires. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle has been reviewing records and spoke with the bank. They should absolutely yank those planes immediately. Jonathan Friedman is the honorary consul for Ukraine in Utah. If these uh, individuals have not been sanctioned yet, they, the Bank of Utah and any other organization here in the States and abroad should sever ties immediately. And so I understand that organizations here domestically will, un, will feel pain. Uh, I, I think that in the long run, it's the right thing to do. According to this Twitter account tracking the jets of the Russian elites, Bank of Utah owns jets operated by these two men, Leonard Blavatnik and Leonid Michelson. Neither has been sanctioned by the U.S. government. Biographies of Blavatnik say he was actually born in Ukraine when it was part of the Soviet Union and is now a U.S. citizen. While he's operated a variety of legitimate businesses and given millions to charity, he's also been accused of corruption with Russian entities. That Twitter account says Blavatnik is flying around on a Gulfstream jet registered to the Bank of Utah. Michelson is a major shareholder of a Russian gas company that Kremlin observers say has been favored by Vladimir Putin. Michelson's ties to a Gulfstream jet registered to the Bank of Utah were first reported in a 2017 New York Times article. Bank of Utah is still listed as the owner, but Thursday the bank issued a statement saying the trust in the Times article was dissolved years ago. We don't comment on any who any of our clients are because it's confidential. Roger Christensen is a Bank of Utah vice president who spoke to Fox 13. Anybody that is sanctioned we would we would quit doing business with them and we have to follow regulations to a t and so we follow the regulations of not only the faa but we follow the regulations of the u.s government too in regards to what we do christensen expressed sympathy for ukraine but said dropping a client who hasn't broken the law isn't necessarily easy there can be contractual obligations and anti-discrimination laws in banking to consider make sure before we qualify anybody as an oligarch or something of that nature, that we ourselves do our due diligence so we're not discriminating against people that maybe should not be discriminated against. Not all the Bank of Utah airplanes allow themselves to be tracked on the internet, but the jet said to be operated by Blavatnik was recorded landing Wednesday in Costa Rica and taking off from there about 24 hours later. In downtown Salt Lake City, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.